Hello my friend, welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan and I wanna be you know very excited to, to release this tutorial with you. This is a live stream and I'm very excited. Here let me see who is watching this live stream already, okay? Let me check here the chat. Hello my friend, uh, let me know in the chat if he's working perfectly, everything here. Uh, hello Don, Sigurhurst, Tick, Angela, Sanderson, Rene, hello Rene, Nikki. Okay, Vela, hello Vela, Tick, Alcatraz, yeah, the Vectorize Club is here. Tarcizio, hello Tarcizio. All the members are here basically, I mean most of it. Uh, okay, um, ah, me Studio, hello me Studio, you are asking uh, for a new tutorial, right, about to do professional text, right? Yeah, I can I can program some kind of lessons about this. All right, I will add in my my schedule. Okay, I want to thank you so much for your suggestion because uh, you know that here on this live stream I I do a lot of illustrations. I teach people how you guys can create uh, art using Affinity Designer. But of course, more technical technical aspects I can bring on here as well. Okay, so uh, let's, just to show you. What are we gonna see? Of course, we're gonna let me open here my my screen. The vectorize here. Uh, you guys can join the club, all right? Here it is where you can access yeah uh, the courses. Basically, I'm gonna just log in, log on here, and here you have more than 270 tutorials. Really, it's a lot of lessons, so you can access here and get access to all the contests that we produce for the members okay your support it is very welcome and awesome so i'm gonna open here the reference with you okay i've just placed the references in my oh in my telegram let me show you here my screen oh. uh, switching right now uh good this is my ipad screen and i want to show you that these are my references that i'm using in order to bring this tutorial so basically, we're gonna focus on this burger. All right, we're gonna create an iconic version following the same art style that we are doing. Okay, we are doing here this lesson. In the past week, we have created the car. All right, if you guys uh, are watching this lesson, you know that we are creating each tutorial step by step, uh, step by step, carefully. All right, very easy. So right now, I'm gonna just bring here the reference so we need to study this reference as always okay uh let me see ah about text yeah i'm i'm considering i don't know if i'm gonna do a live about text or perhaps some kind of logo design you know i can i can think more about it but in general i i'll tell you one thing that perhaps you're not gonna be happy to hear the affinity text it is not very nice to work with. I don't think that it is, you know, easy to work with. There is not a warp text tool. If you uh, if you already know how to use on Adobe Illustrator, I hope that you guys are familiar with this. But of course, I can bring a tutorial about text. Uh, in that case, let's continue here. I'm gonna focus in understand the shapes. All right, so. I like always to ignore the colors. I don't. I don't want to see colors right now. Try to ignore. I'm gonna apply the layer effects. This one. Oh, the average and color. This one. I just want to understand the shapes. To understand the shapes, I'm gonna just. Oh, let me know if you guys want to see. I'm doing a vector image, or if you want to see me drawing. Because if you don't know how to draw, uh, it's gonna be good. All right, to see my process, but. If you don't like to draw at all, I could vector this over, all right? Of course, it can take a bit more time because you can, let's say, uh, go, uh, go front and back and forth, things like that. But one thing that is important to understand here, it is that we have these shapes. Let me just draw it around here. We have one here, oh, this a tomato, we have some cheese and a burger and then another ah some you know salad here and then another guy here below uh of course i'm drawing here just show you this structure right so we have this kind of structure we have we have created a lesson similar lesson 
uh, I think two years ago, I don't, I don't remember yet, but um, this is gonna be a little bit different, right? The art style that we're gonna create, we're gonna focus in this art style. But that case, uh, let's say that you have no idea at all about two vectors. I, I will, I will take easy with you guys. <laughs> all right. So to make this burger, let me resize here. I'm gonna vector this as, let's say, supposing that I don't know how to draw. I'm going to grab the shapes and look at this. Uh, let me see here the chat. Hello, Ida Saida. Welcome, welcome to the vectorize. Ah, great guys, everything is working fine, isn't it? Thank you, thanks so much. Uh, let me just, ah, good. So I will just uh, bring here this this shape alive by using the pencil tool, or you can use the paint tool. I'm gonna use paint tool, all right? No pencil for now. Oh, I will activate the the stroke with this color here, a rondon color, okay? Rondon color. Oh my gosh, on my iPod it is running out of memory, uh, batteries, right? So, uh, of course, I need to reduce this opacity, just like this one, okay? And now I will, let me just create a layer here, a curve, because I want to uh, create a group. I have a group right now here, okay? And then I'm gonna draw here on top. I'm gonna use the low poly technique. If you don't know what is the low poly technique, you're gonna see this right now. It is basically this structure here. I will just vector considering the corners just like this okay and let's say okay john but i want to change this color all right you can change but it's going to take all the time to change one by one let's say ah you want to do this it's going to take time that's why i like to focus only in uh make some just one color the values basically i'm going to reduce this opacity because i want i want to see in between just like that and that's i want to tell you this uh, that's why I've created this curve here because let's say that if I draw right now a curve is gonna draw above of this layer here I don't want that instead what I want it is to draw below okay this makes sense I'm gonna draw below and by doing that I'm gonna select this curve here below I have just this curve here just to select in order to draw below you're gonna see now if I draw right now the tomato, let's see here a shape for the tomato. I can draw something like this here, 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 and here. Oh, just like that. Can, can you see that? It is a bit hard to think like how this will work if you just uh, vector directly, directly. Okay, it's gonna be a bit hard, but no worries. Let's try to do this. I'm gonna make a different color and then I'm gonna create a new tomato here oh, using the low poly technique. This looks like Doritos. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the, I think there is a cheese over here. Oh, look what I'm gonna do. I will select this curve again in order to draw below. Look, you're gonna save a lot of your time if you do that. Then I will create the cheese. And then I will change this color here below. Yellow, good. Then I'm gonna create the burger. I'm gonna do here right now. Let me just close this curve. And let me see here the chat, guys. Okay, uh, let me see. A lot of names, new names on the chat. I wanna say a big welcome to the new names, my friend. Yeah, uh, basically we are just uh, vector vectorizing over the image, right? Let's say that you don't know how to draw. I I'm gonna consider this. Oh, look. Oh, I forgot to select this curve here. That's why I'm drawing above. Yeah. It's not because I did that that you cannot do. No, it is that you will save a lot of your time if you select this curve and then vector below. All right, just like this. Pay attention. I'm gonna change this color to a burger color. There you go. And then I will get back to, uh, ah, there is the salad here. The salad has a not low poly, it is more organic, okay? If you look here, it is a lot more organic. For organic shapes, you can draw just like this, look. Something like that, okay. Curve, and there you go. I will apply the green. 
you may think, oh my gosh, what he's doing? Oh, this looks, doesn't look like a burger. Yes, because we are creating about very simplified shapes, very simplified. And then this one, remember about this shape that I did, I could duplicate this below, here below. And then I'm gonna just add this right here. Oh, look. So by now we got this result. It is very, let's say, even abstract. This is one of the way that you, you can do. Oh, our bug is not ready yet, but you may think, oh my gosh, uh, right now, what about now? What we can do? We can uh, adjust the shapes. As we have created this following, this image, all right? We got this image right here, or this one. Let me just uh, turn off the the color and then make it in the side so we are not we are not just let's say copying the positions we are just grabbing the structure of the layers the the vector layers that just like that and then I'm going to select all of these guys that I have here I've select all of them by swiping left okay and then you can use the node tool by doing that, you can do this. Look, you can select all of it and then click here in Smart. Boom. Now things has become a bit more, let's say, curved with curve. And then you can you can arrange everything here. Let's say that you want to arrange. You can also Oh, look how is easy to control the vector now. Can you see? That's why I teach you easiest way to create vectors here on the channel. Oh look, now I'm gonna make this more rounded, this one here as well. This is the power about the low poly method. Low poly method, it makes so easy to control. Can you see that I'm just uh, fixing and then adjusting? Like 3D modeling or a modeling, you know? Played off modeling, things like that. If we have kids, I was I was thinking, because some of my subscribers, uh, a lot of you guys have kids, and you can invite them to try to do these lessons that I teach. And just to, you know, I, I'm very curious to know if the kids can follow my tutorial, because I do this to be very easy to follow, all right? To be ver very easy to follow. Uh, right now, I'm just oh, adjusting the, the, the shapes. Uh, this one here is not very good, this one here below. I can redraw, no worries. Look, I can use the pencil tool with the scoop to mode, turn it on, and then I can redraw. Oh, look. Oh, look at this, my friend. And then, using the scoop to mode, you can have this result about redraw the shape. Look, before we got a bad result, and then we got a nice result. Simple like that. And then we can adjust even more these shapes, okay? We can make it nice let me adjust a bit more this burger i want to make a bit bigger you can use references like uh, let's say uh, icons you know from the internet even the emojis that you have on the on the social media let me explain this you can use references from the social media okay and some examples about this is that when you are typing on your mobile phone, you can find for a burger. I will explain better. I will show you an example, great example about this. Let's say that you wanna draw a burger. And then you can go, let me open here the factorized clip, uh, a burger, I will type here burger. Uh, and then I'm gonna send the message on the club right here, or the burger here. The, this is the shot on the factorized club where you guys can uh, just uh, you know join on there you can have this access by joining the club and can you see here the burger is here so you can use this as reference so let's say that ah, I want to get here as reference and then I need to uh, let me try to find the button right here on top and then I can just uh, split into here and then uh, copy this image and paste over here as I said, it is always important to have references. So I'm gonna paste here, just show you, okay? Oh, it's a very nice icon that you guys can get inspiration. 
And one thing that we're gonna uh, do right now, as we have the uh, the shapes are already created, can you see? Let me back here. Oh, all the shape is created successfully. And then it's time to add some inner shapes. It, how that works? Inner shape, it is the shape that is gonna be inside of these major, let's say major shapes, the biggest shapes. So to do that, let me just uh, adjust this a little bit more. I'm gonna make this more or less like this, it's fine. And then I will just add the inner shapes. Can you see that there is a shadow over here, right? You can do this by using a shape like pencil tool and then you can draw just like that, make it a bit dark. Okay, let me remove this here, okay? And then you can just apply the Gaussian blur. Oh look, can you see? We have just created a shading already in this area. Also, you can create some more values, I'd say. By doing that, you can just, let's say, create here one more time. That gets a bit more white to yellow here, nice. And then you can apply the Gaussian Blur. You can create a gradient by using the John Master Vector Brushes, okay? I suggest you, if you want, you can download my brushes, Master Vector Brushes. The link is always be available here below of this video. I will now apply the Vector Brush and then I'm gonna use the John Candy Master and apply a bit of white here. And then I will just uh, create not a lot of white, but I'm gonna make this just like that. Okay, let me up a bit more this. Okay. And then you can create a bit more shadings. Let's say, make it a bit dark, just a bit. And create, oh look, I will create more shadings here below. I'm just painting. And then I'll create these uh, things here. Okay, you're gonna see. I'm gonna use the pencil tool. And then using the filling, the fill mode, turn it on. Fill mode, turn it on. A one, two, okay, three four, five, and perhaps six. That's great. More iconic, something like this. Let me resize this one. Okay, good. Uh, you can, if you want, you can do this. Pay attention, right? If you want, you can select all these layers and then you can increase this brush stroke if you want to do that or you can remove it. The art style is up to you. I don't want to make you guys do all the same art styles like I do. But the thing is, you can remove the outline. If you feel comfortable to remove, that's fine. But I suggest you, if you want to focus on the curves, leave the outline turning on. The outline, it is good to see if the curve it is in a good performance. Because most of you guys, when I check your designs, I notice some issues in your curves. I noticed that you guys have some, let's say, some curves that has a not very nice curve. I mean, there's not a good way, but there is uh, a more pleasant curves to the eyes. So always check if the curve it is performing nicely. Okay, always check the curve. The curve. This is my advice to you, to all my students. Check the curve. Oh, let me see here uh, the shot. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just checking here <laughs> the shot just to see if it's working. Oh, okay, oh my gosh. Uh, robot's on. I've fixed this. I think that now it's going to work better. I don't know why this is happening. I think this has bad connections somehow. I don't know. Uh, let me know, guys, if it's working. I hope so. <clears throat>
so what I, I was explaining is that check always the curves that you are creating. Okay, check always. Uh, let me know, guys, if it's working now. Yeah. Hope so. Okay. Thank you, guys, for letting me know. I'm very uh, you know, glad to know that. So, uh, can you understand that I'm explaining that the curve it is important just to see if it's working nice. In that case, I'm gonna remove. I don't need. I don't need to have this for now. Right now, I'm gonna work in the values. I have here the values. Can you see we have uh, more white, then a bit more shadow, and then a bit more white, and so on. I'm gonna make this on here a little bit just like that is better uh, now I will duplicate this I'll duplicate and make this a bit dark oh look can you see I'm creating more values before and now the values it is the thing that's gonna make your design more uh, pleasant to see the contrast right if you are creating an art style that that doesn't have values that's fine it is flat that's what it's called. I will apply more Gaussian blur. I want to soft this a bit more. Oh, nice. Looks nice. And then I want to, uh, to apply more values here. This tomato, I will insert inside. And then I will create this. Good. A bit more red dark here. And then search inside or uh, search inside in order to create inside there you go and then what I'm gonna do it is apply Gaussian blur because this is the style that we are creating okay this one oh, more values to here uh, this layer this layer is above of this one so you need to improve the the shadows by looking in this position I will apply this pencil and then a Gaussian blur. All right, just like that here. And then I will add the vector brush in order to create the sides. I'm gonna see now, for example, I'm gonna make this color. You can select the color here below or here on top, it's up to you. That case, I'm gonna insert inside and then I'll look, make it a bit more white and then apply here. Oh, it's dark, and then you can apply this effect. Oh, the tomato here, can you see? If you want to add more details, up to you. I'm gonna make this a bit more simplified dark and white you can save your time by let's say duplicating this and then applying to here or some tomatoes right here okay I will apply a bit of gradient let me apply gradient a bit more I need to always to check the the shot because I need to know if the audio is working here we go nice now it's time to make the cheese right this guy here gonna make it something like this you can uh, use the reference just to see all right if you want I'm gonna do this by my own I'm gonna do something like this now guys hungry by seeing this <laughs> I'm gonna duplicate this guy apply here on top and then apply this inside and then make this a bit in this color uh, just like this here you go and then I will make some kind of corners over here you see I will add a corner and then I will apply a new shape this area without outline of course and make this a bit more yellow just like this we are just adding the inner shapes that's folks in adding the inner shapes 
this burger I'm gonna just create search inside a shape here and then adding this color something like this and then I will change this curve more to here make it a bit a bit bigger I think it's gonna make it nice uh, look how it's becoming already nice yeah my friends because this is the vector rise my friend <laughs> Uh, here we go. I'm adding uh, just a bit of shading using gradients because this is a cylinder object, all right. That's why I'm using this. Right now, I'm gonna use and apply the John vector brush, and I will use. Let me use the the John pinch because I think it's gonna be nice. Let me check. You can res resize the brush right here make it as white oh look at ah this is gonna be nice use the John pinch this uh, brush here and then you're gonna do this oh look and apply here you are adding some kind of corners right I mean you can change others if you want look how nice is this dude this is this is so nice surface or oh, the surface is nice as well because we can blend oh sorry I'm gonna make it oh, oh look at this look at this corner how nice it is my friend this is nice right <laughs> vector brush you can draw here oh, again and then resize the brush stroke that's fine Make sure to draw. Oh, look at this. I have this issue because you need to draw inside of the curve. All right. Always, always draw inside of the curve. This cheese, I'm going to make it in Gaussian blur. A little bit Gaussian blur. Remember about the shape that I did. This one, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur. <laughs> Simple like that. Vector brush. This is a bit yellow to white. And then apply here. Oh, more white. Oh, look at this corner that's gonna appear right here oh, look boom one two two times there we go apply a bit of transparency nice nice uh let's apply here john candy master in this color with dark can you see that i switch only to the values because i am i'm just improving more the shading i'm gonna add here a shading here below more here below can be here let me just apply it more here below i look at the cheese adding these guys over here okay nice the secret about making good shadings it is values if you don't know how to apply values your shadings is not gonna be nice that's why I'm teaching you how to apply the values focus on the form All right now I'm gonna just add right here all this shading one more time to make it a bit dark and here we have a bit of shadow right this area you can you see we have a cheese and then we have let's say a cast area which is the cat shadow gonna be right here can be just like that I have just used a uh, pencil and I got this flat result but that's fine I like it oh uh, look can you see the flat it's perfect I love it I love it I made this by accident right <laughs> the vectorizer friend let me drink a bit of water here I'm thirsty my friend I need to tell you in the past week I I got sick because I needed to drink more water right ah. always during the live stream uh, come with waters here okay so let's get back now let's add more this was the interval right the interval it is when I drink water 
And here a shadow and here a shadow. Whoa, my friend, look at this. Now here, or right. here a shadow and select this brush. Ah, this one. Using the pencil too, all right? No, nothing fancy. My friend, there is nothing fancy on here. There is nothing fancy. I mean, you can do that. You don't need to be me. You can do. Leave it a like. We have a lot, a lot of uh, new users watching this lesson. And I just ask you, your like is nice. It's, it's going to help the channel somehow. YouTube will understand. Okay, this channel is relevant to, to the people. So let's show to more people, all right? This is what they do. <laughs> yeah, my friend. Uh, now let's make this. Ah, this one. This is one, my friend. I will save your time. I'm gonna just f do this. Oh, look. Uh, I need to drag this below. You know that I like to save your time, all right? You know. Trust me. I love to save your time. That's why I'm gonna do this. Oh, look. And then apply here below and uh, make it nice of course ah this needs to be applied below of the this one this guy and then to adjust the curves there we go make it uh, let's see I want to make it you know in more top view let's try to do that uh, here bigger then this guy is gonna be more inside perhaps oh, we have this cheese let me just move this up a bit more okay oh, here uh, this guy is gonna be a bit dark let me make this a bit dark oh, the a burger right let me look like this makes more sense to be dark all right just like that uh, now we have the salad remaining okay guys I need to tell you I don't like McDonald's I need to, I, I don't think that is it's a healthy sorry there is some if you go to a nut nutritionist right they will not never recommend you to eat these things Ah, sorry, but this is something about healthy, and I'm a guy that like and love to to you know work out, have strong performance. I'm a guy that love to have performance in my life, you know, healthy. I know we all we're gonna die someday, but I I wanna die with healthy, not you know having unhealthy habits. There we go. Uh, everything is becoming so nice. And then we're gonna create some shapes here. This is gonna be a bit more. Uh, let's say tricky because you have a lot of values going on that's why my friend take a look at the references so here we have some shapes that's gonna follow this flow to do that oh, look at this I'm not drawing this <laughs> because I'm getting sponsored by McDonald's Burger King whatever I'm just drawing this because it is nice it is nice you know it is beautiful all right I think I think they they are used to call off your taste. You wanna eat this thing, right? I think this is the the purpose. And then I uh, insert inside. Ah, uh, here. When I go, ah, uh, let me apply first of all. Let me focus <laughs> in explain the lesson because I'm talking so much about my personal things. But no, no worries, no worries. I think this live stream needs to be more human than just me teaching. Uh, then I will try to follow this flow here and then I will bring this onto here I'll look and try to go here a little bit more uh, there you go here or oh, remember about the good curves the good curves it is always when you have this flow guys please send your designs to the vectorize club okay and if you want to have a uh, personal feedback, send to my direct message because on the vector is we have a lot of messages. So it's hard for me to keep, uh, you know, tracking everybody's progress. But I uh, hope that you guys can understand this. And I want to uh, uh, get back to the mentoring. I'm just working in some upcoming nice contents. 
curses, things like that. Oops, I'm drawing this again. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I will do this. Pay attention. Here. Oh. This shape, it is so hard. <laughs> Even for me, right? I, I'm very honest with you. It's not because I teach you that I, I know everything. I'm not the god. I'm not the god. Perhaps someday for affinity. <laughs> I mean, vector techniques. But not yet. And then I would draw here oh, this area. Nice. And this one here. Oh. You see what's going to happen. And then what you can do it is to use the Gaussian blur. But that key is going to be very soft. Oh, Gaussian blur. Oh, let me see here. Gaussian blur. A little bit. Not too strong and not too soft. Don't do this. Don't do this. If you make it soft, it's going to not make it look nice. Make it a bit dark. Just like that. Okay, good. And then you can create uh, some shapes that's going to look like this. Pay attention. This is going to be important. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, here. I will just create this. I think the homemade burgers, it is awesome. I really love it much more. You know, it is not very industrial. I, I mean, when I when I, I say that burger is not healthy, I, I need to tell you my girlfriend, she is vegan. I'm oh, sorry, vegetarian. <laughs> And we, me and her, we ask always for vegetarian um, burger. It, it is very great. I love it. There you go. Oh, here. Oh, there you go. So I hope that this, <laughs> let's say, vegetarian burger is more healthy. Uh, I've created this shape. Can you see? Oh, this one. This one is a bit more tricky. We, we just need to copy this and then create a bunch of them. Let's draw on here. Pay attention, okay? We will create well, this area. And then paste style. And then create a new one here. Oh, just create and then you're going to do this. Pay attention. Here, 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 and here. Now we're going to select all of it and paste style bang okay and then I will just adjust some shapes here that is not so nice here we go now I will create a bit more shadows below I'm gonna see I will create right here below a bit, make it a bit dark just like that This shape needs to be, you know, work at in very, very detailed level. I, I'm not very willing to to make a very highly detailed shape. And my goal here is to, it is to go direct to the point and teach you what is the most important uh, steps. Okay. So of course, if you want to learn much more very deep, deep tutorials, join the club, my friend. Don't lose your time. Go to the uh, go to the club. Nice. Ah, look. And then pencil tool, and then I will create this shape here, following the same structure, right? And then I'll make it a bit dark. So right now, uh, let me just make this a uh, little bit more to here. I wanna add a bit more, let's say, not a very perfect burger. You know, I like to have more organic shapes. Let's make it this into here, something like that. Not good, nice. And here below, I uh, will add more, a bit more shadings. Okay, let's make this into here. Here below, oh, search inside vector brush. And then I will add 
and make it in this color. I think it's gonna be better. Alright, that's fine. I will apply the blend mode in this brush. Look. Nice. Perfect, my friend. Add. This is the guy. Use the blend mode that's called add. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna apply the blend mode that's called add here on top. Look at this. Create more areas. This one, look, nice. And then let's try to. This could be an icon, you know, for sort of game. Uh, yeah, restaurant, something like that. And then uh, we'll apply the blend mode in these guys that I have, these ones. I'm gonna group and then apply the blend mode and let's see what's gonna happen here. We never know what's gonna happen with blend mode. We got the overlay, I like this color because it's it's more enhanced, okay. I really love it. These guys here, you know, these ones, you can resize, or resize, and then I'm gonna group this perhaps and duplicate and flip. Yeah. Can you see? In just a few tweaks, we got this result. Resize, so a sort of pattern. This, you can may think like this is a texture, all right? Sort of texture. All right. Uh, and then let's, I think that's all for now. Don't leave my friend. If you leave me, I will be very sad. Always. <laughs> when the live start with a lot of people and then they start, uh, the live start to to drop, I mean, this, the viewers. I don't know if my live it is interesting or, you know, I don't know if something is bad here. I have something not very good self-esteem sometimes but yeah i do my side here and i do for people that uh enjoy my tutorial so you know i've been creating tutorials since 2018 no 2019 and at least my mind uh has changed a lot uh, i will apply this color for now so here we go i have created this without um, you wanna see how to add shadows here below? Do you wanna see? Ask me on the chat, my friend. Uh, look, I will, I will just apply some shadows here below. Okay, very simple way. You're gonna see how nice it's gonna be this. I will just add. Oh, you can do this. Do an ellipse shape. Oh. Uh. In dark here you will need to apply the Gaussian blur but this is not enough this is not enough because you need to create some transitions in the transitions I don't usually like to use just the transparency okay I I don't use this a lot I like to use but there are different ways to do that so step is Gaussian blur uh, reduce the opacity, duplicate this layer, resize, and apply more uh, soft this to Gaussian blur. Okay, and then duplicate again and resize. Why I'm doing this because I want to have more transition. Okay, with my shape here, and then you can use. Uh, I'm gonna group this. Okay. And then you can use the transparency. There you go. Oh, look, you can decide in which direction the light is coming from. From this side, if the light is from here, you need to do this, of course. It all depends about where the light is coming from. You can add just like that, look. Ah, oh, can you see? But of course you need to fit this perfectly. I mean, the cat shadow, we have a cat shadow here in the middle this one where I need to not make this very strong oh look I need to make this a bit more harsh more solid okay 
this is the deal let me just now reduce this just like that this is something that you can apply if you want but look at the, the look at this result my friend that I'm teaching right now okay very simple uh, easy step by step and you know nothing to worry I'm teaching you a very easy step by step ellipse Gaussian blur transparency ellipse Gaussian blur and then you're gonna have this transition because if you try to do the transition by uh, gradient or few two it's gonna be hard okay but let's say ah, I wanna have the with if you can do a look huh? how nice it is my friend remember about the guy that we have started you know this first curve I will remove it. I don't need this anymore oh, look can you see I have this style as well if you want to we have you know outlines it's nice isn't it it's good nice very good and I'm gonna remove the outlines I don't want to have outlines for now just swipe up select the group and swipe up and then you're gonna have this nice result and that's it that's it my friend we got this reference I don't need this any reference anymore I was just showing you in case that you are running out of ideas and you don't know how to do that thing but there you go you can do this oh, whoops you see and then let me apply the transparency ah, nice you see burger falling just like that nice uh, let me see can you explain how to have the outline in white like a sticker please of course my friend Nikki let me show you so uh, the outline you know the outline let's say you want to print this you need to be very careful with this technique that I'm gonna show you guys because if you wanna have outline you can go directly select the cr group and apply the outline effect and then apply as white you can do this this is the let's say the fastest way to do that but be careful alright because this line here the outline that you got in this result is raster it is not vector you cannot change this okay uh, make sure to have a, a good DPI in order to export this in a great uh, resolution because make sure that this is not a vector okay so if you are using uh, layer effects it is this is not this is not a vector layer effect is just adjustment okay uh, I just forgot here I, I'm usually doing this in the process I'm really enjoying to do that let me show you uh, it is that the adjustments layer this one I'm gonna apply here inside okay and then I will use the the curves the curves it is when you let me <laughs> let me just turn off the outline because it is pushing my attention and, and I cannot focus so well and then I will hit twice in the curves adjustment and then I will change here the curve and then you can uh, work on the contrast right so try to find a good balance for your design you can make this a more desaturated if you want or this one I love this feature a lot also you can use the color balance the color balance it is when you handle with the temperature right so let, let's say that you want to use more a, a, co, a cool temperature so uh, more yellow more cold I'm gonna use more yellow yellowish something like this this is oh, look oh, like a uh, very you know sunny effects more sunny oh, can you see it's nice the shadows as well you can change the temperature more to green uh, be careful right so look I'm enjoying this a lot ap about applying more uh, to blue yellow or blue or oh, more yellow to blue magenta or green or oh, magenta and green this one or cyan red or cyan oh, it's gonna make it more dark I don't want to have this result I want to make this more in the middle that's fine okay uh, of course to teach you in detail way of course I would need to have uh, a very specialized course to 
create and of course this takes time and I'm planning to create a, a full course for from beginner to advanced in, let's say one class no subscription all right at the moment uh, this is what we have all right I look this is the result that we got nice result clear nice I look there you go uh, it fits perfectly all right and look uh, let me tell you this uh, I in some months I mean the next upcoming weeks or month I have plans big plans to release some courses that it is not subscription you know that to join the club uh, it is based on subscription but it is very low price it is very cheap because I, I, I don't I, I usually I think that most people don't like to to have a subscription model I know that but to keep this uh, live running every week to keep the system to keep everything running it takes a lot of cost you know sometimes I need to pay by myself and basically I'm paying to to teach and you know I, I don't have so many many many, many benef benefits uh, in case that you may think that you know I'm rich <laughs> so this is what I want to explain uh, but that's it for now I hope that you guys enjoy it uh, this lesson all right I, I will show you everything here I'm very honest with you step by step showing you direct to the point okay my friend that's it for now let me show the shot everything is, seems to be working perfect today okay oh, let me just show you here the zoot look at this my friend I'm teach you right now how to create this guy open to the questions uh, okay no questions for now very simple guys you know I did this without having you know a drawing I, I, I didn't have had to create a drawing I I've used my eyes my instincts uh, of course reference is one thing you need to start with something you need to start with some reference with drawings do not try to vector without having nothing you're gonna have problems you're gonna take a lot of your time you're gonna you know struggle we don't want to have let's say uh, you know struggles over here <laughs> uh, no bacon yeah let's keep this simple right we could add more much more things but let's make it simple because uh, when you are creating for icon you need to think like uh, make it very simple you know folks to make it simple okay this is the the most important uh, you know point when you are designing let's say it depends of course okay uh, I want to say uh, you know, uh, goodbye to you guys, and please send your design to the Vectorize Club on the Telegram. You can also access, you know, uh, all the lessons over here. And I will be exporting this this image to the club in case that you want to vector this over. Feel free to use this as reference. I want to thank so much. Thank you, Alcatraz, Rene, down. Let me open here. Thank you so much, Rene, Alcatraz, down, uh, Nikki, Julie Carson. Hello, thank you so much. Um, if I, I if I haven't you know said your name, my apologies because the chat here sometimes it is crazy. <laughs> okay, I want to thank you guys so much. And let me see who more who saying. Okay, thank you, Angela Sanderson, and goodbye, guys. See you next week and bye bye. Take care of yourself. Drink water and keep healthy. <laughs> see you.